Hi and welcome to the best of IPMAT series. The question for today uh, is a question from PNC. Again, uh, not a very favorite area for a lot of students, but this is a really easy question. So we have picked up this question from the 2021 uh, MCQ section. Okay, uh, so before we uh, get to the solution, as usual, pause the video, try your hand, and then we will start with the solution. Hello everyone. If you like our content and want to experience the IMS pedagogy, then join our zero fee pep program that will give you access to concept videos, sectional test and full length mock test and many more for free. To avail this, please click on the link mentioned under the description box below. Happy learning. Okay, so moving on to the solutions. So they've asked five digit numbers consisting of distinct digits. So the digits are not repeated. Okay, and the, they've given a constraint. What is that constraint? Only odd digits can occur at odd places. Okay, so let, let's start with the most typical, most traditional method for solving. I don't really know any rocket science for this question. Uh, so one, two, three, four, and five. These are my five digits, okay. Uh, first place, third place and the fifth place are our odd places. So, for these places, they have specified the constraints. What are those constraints that only odd digits can take up the places uh, of, uh, can take up the odd places, okay. Now, how many options do we have for odd digits? Uh, uh, we have five options, one, three, five, seven and nine, correct. So, out of these five digits, I can pick up any one digit and put at these places. Correct. So, for the first place, let's say I have five choices or let's say I write 5C1 or 5. So, five choices for this place. Uh, I've used one number and I cannot repeat. So, four choices for this place and three choices for this place. Correct. Now, at even places, odd digits can still come. Even places, there are no constraints. Remember that whenever you are doing such a kind of question, always start counting from the places where the constraints are specified. Okay, start your question only from the constraints. So that's what we did. For the first place, we have five choices. For the, for the third place, we have four. And for the fifth place, we have three choices. Now, out of the 10 digits that we have, we have used up three digits, which means now I am left with seven choices and six choices. And that's about it. If I just multiply, I should be able to get to my answer. Okay, so going to the calculation, uh, 5 into 4 should give me 20, 20 into 3 give me 60, 60 into 6, 360. So, 360 into 7 is what I want to calculate. So, I am obviously going to calculate only 36 into 7. Okay, so 30 into 7 is 210 and 6 into 7 is 42. So, 210 plus 42, 252. So, my answer is going to be 2520, option number 3. So yeah, it's as simple as it comes. So it's in spite of it belonging into a, to a chapter which is not really simple, the question by itself was not very difficult also. So you know, if you do even the first few concepts of uh, permutation combination chapter, you should be able to do these questions. So yeah, uh, try your hand at the replica question as always. Uh, put your answer in the comments and we will see you in the next video. All the best and happy learning.